Yo, we're here once again. High exposure, Fourth summer year, 2020. <laughs> Four year pilots, we're veterans, and uh, today's gonna show you how we get this shit done. I primarily fly 94 Delta. We have about 12 planes, um, but a lot of people don't like this one, but I really like this one, so I got stuck with it. So, what I'm gonna show you guys is basically the inside. I have everything pretty much ready. Um, I got my headset in, my iPad's in. If you want to bring in over here, so these are also these are uh, pull levers. So I have three of them. So this is the left one, the middle one, and the right one. And I'm going to show you guys what they do. So right now we don't have a hook on them, so that's why they're down. Um, so let me show you guys what it looks like. <clears throat> so because I only have one banner out of here. I'm just going to attach this one hook. So, it's totally up to you on what you prefer. I personally just like, if I'm doing one hook, I put it on the right side. So here, get closer. So, as you can see, when those levers were down, you can see that there's no hooks on them. So when I put on a hook, I want to lift this up, pull this little cable, and snap it on and it locks. So I'm just gonna release this. I'm gonna put the D-Ling here. Lock that, pull on it, so now it's not going anywhere. So I'm gonna lay out this wire for this rope. It's about a 15-ish foot rope, give or take. Some are a little bit longer, some are shorter. So what you wanna do is bring it over. Here. You want to make sure it's definitely clear down here uh, because if it's on top or something it can get all tangled in that and you'll have what's known as a hung banner and with the hung banner you would have to land on the runway and that could be extremely dangerous. It has happened but um, it's definitely not something that you really want. So <clears throat> my plane I have I have these two bars so because I'm on the right side, I'm going to put it on the right bar. I'm just going to hook it up just like that. And I'm just going to put a little loop in. So what this loop does is, as you can see, it tightens up the back. So when I'm taxiing, uh, it, won't, it won't get in the way. So yeah, so this is it. Yeah. Not, maybe not 1045, maybe 11, but it'll be okay. Can I just record him picking and then take off? Please. Please. Uh, yeah, you can do it. You can do it. I'm out. You gotta... Where are you at? No, you're good. You better pick on the first fucking shot. If he doesn't pick on the first shot, you're gone. Alright, so while I'm waiting, just to kind of show you guys, so we have one, two, three, we have four sets. We got left green, middle left blue. Ooh, that middle left blue looks like a smiley face right now. And then middle right orange, that's where I'm gonna be. And oh, we got four. Man, oh man, that is confusing. Someone's gonna mess up. So we got four left green. Middle, left blue, middle orange. Oops, I didn't interrupt. And then middle yellow and far right white. So they're going to do their run up right now. <laughs> it looks like Ryan is about to take off, so. Yo, why 
are you guys running? His hook came off. Oh, his hook came off. I guess he didn't attach it right. Way to go, Ryan. Did you guys get it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just a day in the life, baby. Came in. Oh, did I get that landing? I think I got it. Ooh. Little Bravo action. Johnny Boy's hooking him up. Reset. I put her right back on. She's a bit. Be a good day, man. Oh, yeah. Ins and outs, man. There's so much stuff that happens. We've been through it all, we've seen it all, witnessed it all, heard it all. And the only thing it's done is made us a better pilot. It's kind of flying, makes you one of the best pilots you can possibly be. Stick and butter. It literally gets to the point where you can feel it in your bones. And you can actually say you know what the airplane feels like really makes you a great aviator. What about traffic, Elko, to Varna 3-1, Woodbine? Woodbine traffic, you have a red and white series on a five mile right base, 3-1, Woodbine. I'm going to tuck it in real close here. Uh, let Goose pass me on the right. I'm going to tuck it in close to you so we scoot in. Oh, oh baby, y'all are looking good. Alright guys, just landed. Um, I'm about to go fuel right now. Uh, sky, the skydive guy was right there, so that's why I'm all the way out here. But I'm gonna push the plane over, fuel up, and then uh, and then uh, I got one more banner. So that one's the Sandy Hook to Cape May.
not bad, 24 gallons. So, not bad at all. All right, we're gonna put this away and then uh, start up. All right, so right now, I'm just walking to the Cetabria. Um, it's all the way over there. Uh, <clears throat> like I said, I've never flown this before. So, I don't know, I heard it's a lot easier to land than a Cub. But because it has a new engine, they want me to full throttle it for two hours straight. Just to see what the fuel burn is. See if it's gonna be higher or lower than what it used to be. Um, breaking the cylinders so yeah I'm I'm excited a little nervous but um, <clears throat> if I do end up liking this thing I'm probably gonna be towing it a lot over the weekends that way I stay local because it's only good for about three hours of flying uh, whereas my plane is good for about four and a half so uh, I'd rather do locals anyway I'm kind of sick of going from Cape May to Sandy Hook I'd rather just stay within a couple miles of the airport and get the same hours so uh here it is november 86883 never gonna use that tail number i'm just gonna call it c-top but here it is super sick uh paint job so yeah here we go we're gonna untie it now i don't know where ryan is I said he was going to come over, but... That's what I was thinking. 15, I did 15 minutes. Like, by then you'll know if the engine's gonna quit or not. And I'd rather be here. And you'd rather be here dead sticking like a champion that you are. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Alright. That's good. It lands easy. Yeah, this thing. Yeah. I need a flat. 
ahead and get some oil. Yeah, let's let's see it, Ryan. Let's see it. Just a minute. I know the oil is good because I'm breaking it in. So it's good. I mean, trust goes a long way, but I don't trust a damn person when I fly an airplane. Yeah. Okay, so I'm about to go flying. The battery is starting to die, so I don't know how much footage I'm going to get. But, um, yeah, I might just say this is it because I don't know if the battery is going to die. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Ow, dude, this plate, oh, my God. This is tight, dude. <laughs> you have to be a little man to do it. Yeah, well, that I am not. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, this feels weird. You got it. I guess this is the start. Yep. Like a glove. Oh. Or not. <laughs> Ian, you didn't put the moisture in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>